A lot of folks are worried this summer will bring a new wave of social unrest, but so far things have been relatively quiet, and police in Minneapolis hope that will continue. One Minneapolis police officer told our next guest that he only expects the level of unrest we saw last summer if cops do something stupid. There was a deadly incident this week, though, in Minneapolis. A man drove into a BLM encampment, killing a woman. Witnesses who taped the aftermath say the driver was going at least 80 miles per hour. You can see other protesters detained that driver and held him until police arrived. Joining me now is independent journalist, our friend Nancy Rommelman. Nancy, you had that video sent to you while you were in Minneapolis. No, I actually wasn't. I was at, but hi, Joe. Nice to be here again. No, I was actually here in New York, but because I was reporting in Minneapolis not long ago, I have a lot of people on the ground that are still still sending me things. So I kind of kept a close ear on the situation. It was a horrible situation, um, including a woman who sent me some pictures. She'd been there earlier in the evening and had spoken to the woman, um, mm. Deanna Marie Najjak, who was killed and had like taken pictures of her and her car. Mm. And then two hours later, she wrote to me and she she said just chaos. Um, she was killed by this driver who we found out now. Uh, his name is Nicholas Krause. He had five previous DUIs. He was, I think, drunk at the time, and he saw sort of their, people had lined up their cars to protect the protesters, and he saw it and decided he told the police he was going to jump the car. Oh, so so he wasn't necessarily targeting the encampment. He was just drunk. Well, I think they were there protesting. You know, they, they, they were sort of setting it up in, the, in, in light of the, the last, the most recent killing uh, by police in, um, in, in uh, Minneapolis. Mm -hmm. um, and they were out there just, you know, sort of doing what they do. It was, it was fairly peaceful. Um, but yeah, he just, I mean, you know, I remember when my daughter was in driver's ed, they said, what is the first thing you lose when you drink alcohol? Is it coordination, uh, uh, reflexes, or judgment? And it's judgment. Right. This guy thinks he's going to jump a car into wow. a group of people. It's horrible. Mm -hmm. So you talked to an officer while you were there. We just mentioned a little bit of that. What did he did. tell you about what's happening there a year after the George Floyd murder? Sure. You know, I'm actually going back to uh, our, our former town at Portland, and it's the question I get constantly, which is, what is this summer going to bring? Weather's nice now. Are people going to come out? Is it going to look the same? He said he doesn't think so. Uh, he thinks that what's happened is that the city, the residents are kind of really sick of this, and they're not quite as supportive as mm -hmm. they were last year of, you know, peaceful mm -hmm. protest, and then what turned into be not so peaceful, and, you know, then mistakes by the uh, by local government, who, by the way, the mayor today uh, called in the National Guard. Mm -hmm. Which is very unusual because it's, he's a very progressive mayor and has kind of wanted these um, situations to go on. But but people are pretty sick of it. The well, average Joe. Let's talk about uh, Portland, Nancy. You brought it up there. Yeah. I, I know that uh, you're heading there, I think, soon. And I was just there recently. Yeah. And the homeless situation is certainly bad. And the city there, and I know others, have also now talked about clearing these camps. And it's underway yeah. now in Portland. What happens to these yeah. people who get moved out of these camps? You know, uh, your your producer linked me just a crushing article today that was in the Washington Post right. by a really good uh, journalist, Eli Saslow, also a good author. And he really put the human face on this. And the human face, too, in the interacting, like, you live in a community, you have a house. These people are camped out near you. And, like, how how do you coexist? Well, you, you can't in many cases. Right. So where do they go? I don't know, Joe, if I knew the answer, right. I would put it in practice. It's just, it's really heartbreaking, but also, you know, there are also people that don't help themselves by the way that they're living. And and I'm, you know, you, you told me last time that you were in Portland and the homeless situation was really pretty bad. The last time I was there, it, it definitely had amped up. So right. I'm going to be there on Friday uh, and I'll, and I'll, I'll report back what I find. Well, the whole situation really is untenable. I'm not sure what we do about it. And to your point, no one really seems to have an answer. No. All right. Yeah. We're going to get to um, the bite of the night now, and we want to bring you in on this, Nancy. It's, uh, sure. We know you like straight talk that cuts through the noise, and comedian <laughs> John Stewart did just that, talking about the origin of COVID-19. There's a know. novel respiratory coronavirus overtaking Wuhan, China. What do we do? Oh, you know who we could ask? The Wuhan novel respiratory coronavirus lab. The disease is the same name as the lab. There's been an outbreak of chocolatey goodness near Hershey, Pennsylvania. What do you think happened? Like, oh, I don't know. Maybe a 
steam shovel mated with a cocoa bean. Or it's the <laughs> chocolate factory. Maybe that's it. You also get a little sight gag with John Stewart where he uses the tie to, to dab off there. Do we ever find the, uh, the origin of this, Nancy, do you think? Yeah, I know it. I'm going to let everybody know right now, Joe. I've got the answer. Well, you know, it's very interesting because just like everything else after Trump, everybody was so divided. So the whole Latin League thing is like, well, no, 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 he's pushing that narrative. So that can't possibly be true. And uh, I don't know.